All right, YouTube, another day in the shop. We got our uh, painting table set up. Kind of awkward. I got to get some uh, bigger stands. Uh, I don't want to use my nice ones, my cobalt, because I don't want to turn them green. But uh, so we got those set up. And then we got all our parts here. So today, what we're going to do is um, what I'm going to do is I'll probably do about groups of five. Uh, wipe them down with acetone, put them on the table, and then shoot them with paint. And then do the next five and five and five. That will give the times part to, or the time part, the, the parts time to, to set up or to cure up. And then I'll flip them over and then do the other side. But that's, that is the game plan um, in order, because obviously I'm not going to be able to fit all the parts on the table. So I'll do groups of five. So that's about it. So I've got some paint to uh, prep and get ready. And uh, yeah, we'll get back here and hopefully when we come back, not hopefully, but when we come back, things will be green. All right, I wanna share with you guys, when you guys are painting these, paint the underside first. And when I say the underside, paint this first, this side here first. And the reason being is that way, when you flip it over, you're not flipping it over onto this you paint the top first when you flip it over you'll be putting this as it's still somewhat wet onto the grate so paint the top first and then that way it will rust on the edges just a little little hint so paint the bottom first like i did here so paint these first the bottom and then that way when you rest it back on here it's resting on that edge and not on the flat while it's still wet just wanted to share that with you all right youtube there you go <laughs> they're green they are done i will have to tell you i was very very happy with the painting table that's did exactly what i expected it to do actually it's kind of windy out here where i was painting today and uh the parts didn't even blow off it was pretty pretty impressive um the fact that the uh parts uh the parts um stayed on the table even in the wind so uh so that painting table worked out really well so what we're going to do is let these set up uh for a day or so let them let them harden up uh it's a little humid out here so i'm going to give them a little bit longer uh to set up than i normally would usually i give them 24 hours i'm going to let it sit for a day a good day or so and then be back in here and then what we will do is we will start assembling the spar. That's right, the spar. So that's gonna be pretty cool. Um, putting them on the spar, it's gonna look like somewhat like a wing a little bit. So um, so yeah, so that's about it. Uh, I will have to tell you the little tags were a great idea. Um, I really like how they uh, how they how they turned out and everything. The only like I said, the only recommendation I would have is paint the bottom the upside down or this side first and then that way when you flip it over to paint this you're not flipping it over on the flat uh, just experience now this primer usually kicks within about two to two to five minutes once it's on the part and when i say kick it starts to harden it starts to to harden up but you don't want to you know especially on that wire because it is metal you don't want to scratch it I had a couple pieces that did get scratched. I had to re, not repaint, but just touch up. I had a little extra paint left over. So um, so that's about it. So for you guys that want to know, it took roughly four, five, 600 milliliters to paint these. Um, let me look at my markings here. I got some extra. So I would, I would probably say... Um, about 500 milliliters, yeah, 500, 500 milliliters uh, of paint. Uh, did And I do have some left over. I did 600, and I got about 100 left over. So, you know, if you want to go over a little bit, I guess that would be better. But about 600, 5 to 600 milliliters of paint is all it took. Now, once again, it depends on how, how my first go, I was adjusting my gun. I had my gun a little bit too... Um, it was spraying too much, uh, so I had to adjust it. But, you know, 500 milliliters of paint uh, will definitely uh, coat all of these in, in the parts. So, yeah. 
that's about it. You guys know the routine. If you have a comment, question, concern, leave it in the comment section. I'll get back to you. And like always, have a great weekend. And may God bless you and keep you guys safe.